Hello everyone, it's Betra Action. And this is the transfer. Oh my god, this is the Star Wars Michael Galaxy Squadron Series 2. Uh, this is the Star Wars Michael Galaxy Squadron Series 2 Scout Class stack with Battle Droid, released by Jazzwares in 2022. This is the final one for now. And, well, again, we have the, we have the case pack here. I'm just going to pick out one of these. One of these does have a stuff in it. I can't remember which one it is, but I do have two of these now. No, nope, that one's a bark speeder. Here's the stuff. Oh. There we go. Stacks in there, as you can see. Another battle in there. Either way, so that's the packaging. Star Wars, Michael Galaxy Squadron, Mystery Vehicle and Figure, Series 2. One set includes one vehicle, figure and flight stand, unless it's an ATRT. Again, same sort of thing going on the back. You've got all eight there, including the chase. You have starting from left to right. Speeder bike with layer, or speeder bike end all layer, bark speeder red with clone trooper, the Mandalorian speeder with, with Dinder Jaren. Battle, uh, stack with battle droid. We have Obi Wan, we have a bark speeder of Obi Wan Kenobi. We have stack, a blue stack with Anakin Skywalker. We have the Escape pod with R2D2 and the ATRT Bad Batch with Hunter. And then there you have it the Armor Bash on the side, the Geonosis battle scene, and the back. And that's the last you're going to see of these unless I find the others. Which I'm still on. Still looking for chases. Is it rare and chase? I think it's rare and chase. I don't think it's just chases. It's weird because they just caught chases in the packaging. Anyway, so here it is. That's the Battle Joy with the stat. But first, let's take the stat, let's take the battle droid out and let's look at the battle droid first. I think that's what we're going to do. As you can see, unlike the battle droid that came with the ATR, the AAT, sorry, not the ATRT, which I'm just going to get out, so you can immediately tell the difference with these ones. As you can see, this guy just flops everywhere and this one is able to stand up. So that's nice. I finally have a battle droid that isn't a floppy mess, which is why I'm really pleased to have, have, had, to have gotten the stab. You can see this guy just doesn't want to stand up. Look at that. It's just really loose. Where's this guy? There you have it. So that's why I brought this in, but we'll get to that later. So here's the stab, I and mean, here's the battle droid. Again, no real paint on it, but it looks fine. There's detail on it. There's moulded detail, but you know, like the eyes. Are the eyes moulded? Well, there's, you know, there's moulding on there, but there's no paint to pick it out, unfortunately. Still, though, it's a better battle droid than this one. So that one's a nicer colour. That was a real nice sort of genus in the battle droid. Right, well, it looks good, but there isn't, there's, next to, there's no paint on it whatsoever. But the detail's quite nice, I just wish they had picked out with black paint. And that's the articulation. The arms move as one, the legs move as one. They're not connected to the base by a connection fleet, so they are, the legs are independent, really. Now the backpack's nice, I don't think it's removable, but it looks good. Now if it was removable, this guy might stand up. So there you go. And uh, I'm just going to bring this in quickly, because I have a vehicle that this would work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to, well, we're going to leave him in there because he can actually go in there. And that's why it's good to have a second one of these stats because I well, we can put another battle droid in there if I wanted to. I'm going to keep that one, obviously. But now what we can do is we can open this part, the actual forward driver cockpit, I think it's called. And we can just put him in here like so. And now I have a pilot that's actually going to sit in there quite well, I think. I haven't tried this yet. Might just be the way this thing is molded. Oh no, there we go. So I didn't see. We've got him in there. He's not a floppy mess like the other one. Put him in. You now have two battle droids piloting this vehicle. We've got one in there. The Geonosian one that it came with, which unfortunately is a floppy mess on mine. And you have the stand one. So that is the cool part about this. So as you can see, works really well with the other vehicles in line. 
as to your droid army. And that just leaves us with the stack on its own. I am going to get the battle droid out, but I, this time I actually have the vehicle that the figure would be useful for. And the vehicle, and I actually have a figure that would go well with a vehicle. I don't have that for any of the other ones. Oh, this thing seems a bit weird. Just move, or is this thing a bit bent? Oh, that's interesting. It looks like. Oh, right, here's the step. And there's much more detail on there, much more paint than there was on the battle droid. I like the silver, they've got gun metal. Oh, that's more of a gun metal sort of colour. Okay, we've got this metallic colour, metallic silver, or gun metal, and we have this brown. It looks quite nice. And this piece here is so you can. Put the battle droid on the vehicle. So let's take them out. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece like this, we're going to put them in this way. That's the way I figured out how to do it. So you don't break this piece because it is transparent plastic. It's probably more brittle, and if you, yeah, you've probably got to be careful, but it doesn't look like it's going to break too easily. But I don't know. You don't want to break it, so I would just slide them in like I just like, I would just slide them in like this, so you don't damage it. There you go. No, I think that works. I think this just works better. Hang on a second. You just slide them in like that, and then what you want to do? Oh, it's come out. And the thing is, you got to try and get them to like stand on this. Yeah, so you got. Places from the stand there. Um, this, this there we go. And there you have it. You've got the stat being piloted by the battle droid. We haven't got the flight stand, which is the same as all the others, except now we have a different connector, different like, port. And you see, we've got Star Wars on there, same sort of shape, but now it goes in this way. There you have it. We've got a pretty successful uh, mystery vehicle there. This, this is a very good vehicle. Looks really nice for some reason. Though, that is a bit bent on that one. So we might have a look at this other one. I can remember where it is. So I don't think that one's bent, is it? That one's quite bent. No, this one's straight. I'll just take this out quickly. Appears to be a bit bent. And you can't say it's not centered. Hang on a second, I'm going to stop you up. So, this one is actually a bit bent, just something I didn't notice until just now. As you can see, this one is much nicer. Interesting. Well, anyway, this has been Retroaction with the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 2 Scout Class. Stat with Battle Droid. Very nice vehicle. It's good to have these on the line. The Stat's a very cool vehicle. And it's a good way to get Battle Droids. It's a nice addition. And overall, pretty cool. And I now have two, so that's good. This is a nice addition. I like this one. Show me about it being bent, but at least we've got a second one that isn't bent. So about like that, but other than that, I will definitely pick one of these up, and it's a common, so hopefully you'll be able to get it. All right, this has been, been Retroaction, and this is what the packaging looks like, as again, as I said on the last one. And so, and the, 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 like the blister. Like Overall, a very nice vehicle, and a great way to end this. So those are the five that I managed to pick up, the five different ones. All right. I didn't get any of the layers of chases, unfortunately, but if I do, I'll do reviews on them as well. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that. But for now, this has been the stat with Battle Droid, and it's a very successful vehicle, a very successful vehicle. I really like this one. It's a great addition. And again, if you've got an ATR, if you've got an AAT battle tank like mine, where the Battle Droid was faulty and was really loose, 
you now have a good replacement showing you it's not a Geonosin one but there we go all right anyway thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this series happy may the no happy uh, revenge of the fifth revenge of the fifth uh, revenge of the sixth i know some people prefer i kind of prefer that as well but there you go i want to get all these videos out in a row no day missed but it'll be it's over now until i find more all right anyway thank you very much for watching see you next time with another review bye for now